Good evening, ghosties and ghouls, witches and wizards, and welcome back to Lux Nox's 13 games of Halloween! <laughs> that was a weird laugh. Anyway, and I'm your host, Nox, once again, yes, because this is uh, day two of the Costume Quest weekend. And so Costume Quest, I, I think just like, well, Costume Quest 2, just like Costume Quest 1, is very story driven so of course we're gonna have the story once again so there will be little gameplay more story but i guess the uh story lets you know if you want to play it or not so now we have here we we obviously must have found uh reynold back in costume quest one because he is here with us now he's this little eyeball right here and ren is once again leading the pack and following them is everett that first kid that we found and lucy i think who i think is the um the drug dealer kid that uh, that Ren, no, not that Ren, that Everett was talking about. So let's, uh, yeah, I, I tried the game a little bit and I didn't get far. But let's just start a new game here. That eyeball looks like the Eye of Cthulhu from Terraria. That's Reynold. What if this portal sends us t to a crazy monster world like last time? Do you have a better idea? No, I'm just worried about Mom and Dad. We've been gone for a while. That's that's nice of Reynold, the one who went missing, to worry. Is this the portal home? Might be. Hmm. I don't see any properties that would indicate a destination. Lucy seems to be very uh very, very smart and sciencey, so maybe she's the one who will be uh the brains of the operation. Get it, brains? No, okay. Halloween, no, okay. I'm sure it's fine, Everett. Hop in. Me? I'm not going first. There could be level 20 kobolds in there or something. So I'm figuring that level 20 kobolds is a, a type of monster that we figured out in Costume Quest 1. So, you know, if, if you play that, you already know what it is. I, I don't know what it is, but, you know, let's go on. So here they're basically just arguing, like, who goes first, blah, blah. And then they decide that it's going to be between Ren and uh, Reynold. So we decide who we're going to play as. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A coin flip. Of course. Decide everything with coin flips. That's, that's the way of life. If you don't know what you want to do, go with a coin flip and you will, you know, if you flip heads and you're just like, hmm, maybe I don't want that. If you're like hesitant on that, then you really wanted what was entails, if that makes sense. Anyway, so we will select. Do you want Reynold or Ren? We'll, we'll be Ren again. Wait, I selected her to go in, didn't I? Oh man, wait. No, 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 I did select her as the character that I want to play. So that's the person who gets thrown in first. But anyway, we end up back in this world that looks sort of like home. Oh, look at Reynold, he's so scared. Trick or treat. But yeah, uh, unlike the first game, this game seems to work well with the full screen, so, well, the widescreen, sorry, so that that's pretty good. There's mom and dad. Hey guys, we're home. Reynold, you're so excited about things, like you're so naive. I had a good feeling about that portal. Something feels off though. It wasn't Halloween when we left. Well, that actually makes total sense. It does? These portals are likely wormholes through space time. We probably, we probably just experienced a little time di dilation. I can't read. Yeah, Everett, duh. So we're time travelers? Sort of. We did some quantum stuff. Nobody can actually travel through time, or so you say. Look at that evil guy in the back. His teeth are just like, oh, I hate children. I hate Halloween. Hey, isn't that Dr. White? Why is he so fidgety? I don't know, because it looks like he hates everything in life? It looks like he hates Halloween, for real. That dentist always gave me the creeps. Yeah, he looks super creepy. Who cares about him? Let's go to my house and sort out our candy. Good idea. I need to unload all my licorice on you guys. I think kids all sound the same. Maybe. I don't know. We should check in with my mom and dad first, though. We'll meet you there in a few minutes. Okay, see you soon. Come on, Lucy. Last one there is a Ryan egg. And off they go. So now uh, we get to control our little heroes here. Uh, we lead as Ren, and, uh, oh, there's a trick-or-treater. So, oh, I did not mean to hit her. Well, you know what? 
let's just hit her again. Sorry. Okay, so let's talk to mom and dad here. Hi, kids. I was wondering where you guys were. Really, you were, and you didn't go out and check for us because you are an irresponsible parent who lets your kids go trick-or-treating all by themselves? I'm not surprised. Hi, Mom. We were just checking in. How responsible of you. How long have we been out playing again? Who knows? I just got up from an... Okay. Okay. Worst parent ever. Don't stray too far, kids. The Halloween block party is going to start soon. <gasps> Halloween block party. Halloween block party. Okay, that sounds fun. Hey, Dad. Hi there, Ren. Are you excited for the Halloween block party? Halloween block party sounds awesome. Should be. I guess we'll see you over there in a bit. Uh, where is the Halloween block party? We're just waiting for Miss Putterpam. She needs help setting up her pie table. Mmm, pie. Pie is delicious. Pie. Well, it depends on the kind of pie. And, of course, we go digging for stuff at the trash again. But it doesn't seem like we have a candy counter this time. So maybe we shouldn't be going looking for candy just yet. Oh, the nerve of this town throwing a Halloween party on my block. Excuse you, Mr. Dentist, sir. Hey, Dr. White, what are you doing out here? Can you see I'm busy? Do I look like I want to be interrupted by an eyeball? Um, I'm not the eyeball. The eyeball's standing behind me. He's not talking. Why don't you go brush your teeth? I can smell the sugar on your breath. Oh, yes, he is a hateful man. Why did you become a dentist if you hate everything? Yeah, sounds like fun. We'll think about it. Hateful, hateful man. Man, what crawled up Dr. White's rump? He always kind of gave me the creeps. Now he totally gives me the creeps. Yeah, well, he's a dentist. I mean, dentists aren't all creepy, but that guy really is. Oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, okay. That looks creepy. Oh. Okay, that was rude. That was super rude. Yeah, th this man should not become a dentist, like, ever. Out of the way, brats. Hey! Watch it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Rude man. Okay. There you are. You're late. We said we'd meet by the alley. What are you doing over here? You're a time wizard. You have no excuse for being tardy. <laughs> it's just like, excuse you. Anyway, let's get down to business. Are you ready to pay your debts? Uh, what kinds of debts would a time wizard owe to dentist? Unless it has teeth that were rotting or something and it couldn't afford the treatment. Anyway, this dentist is up to no good. Very clearly. At last, now I will take what's mine. Oh no, what, what are we doing? Where are we going? What is he doing? At the time, it was just like, no, 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 no. This is no good. Oh boy. Did you see that? Yeah. Um, I'm standing right here. And what is that he has? Okay, that doesn't look good. That looks like one of those grubbins. <laughs> I have it. It is mine. With this talisman, I have unlocked the monster gate. The Repugians are free. Oh boy. Yeah, that's totally a grubbin. And now I can use them to rid the world of candy and Halloween. My dental hygiene utopia is within my grasp. Well, this isn't good because they like to steal all our candy and it's a, a, it's a Halloween block party. So what, what's going to happen with all candy? I guess we'll have pie. They look like zombies right now. Like seriously? Like frog zombies. Uh oh. Ren is just like, oh, not this again. Oh, there goes the candy. Rip candy. Oh, and the costumes. Our costumes! What's happening? Oh boy. Oh, what's that? Eh? Run! Reynold! This way, quickly! Who is that? And we're going through a time portal because clearly that looks so safe. Oh boy. Jump in! Jump in! Okay. Oh, evil. Okay, so this is about as far as I got last time, so l this is all new to me. What are we going to do? So what's going to happen, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why can't I ever land on my feet? And who are you? That was crazy. What in the heck just happened? You just traveled to the future, kid. Who, who are... Wait, is this Everett and Luce? N no? This looks like, this actually looks more like Ren's mom, like, different. Do we know you? 
Oh, oh, it totally is Ever and Lucy. Oh my gosh, they ended up together in the future. Guess what, guys? We're married now. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I knew it. I knew you had the hots for her, Everett. Uh-huh. Guilty as charged. <laughs> I wish you had more time to catch up, but we need your help with something urgent. Okay, what happened in the... Oh, is this where the dentist went to get the doll? Oh, yeah, we need to hurry. We don't have much time. We need to get another time hole open, but you guys will need costumes for this. Run out to the shed in the backyard. We've got a couple stashed there that you can borrow. And be very careful not to be seen by any... Thing, anything. What do we need costumes for? Oh boy. Okay. Hurry, they know you're here. We'll tell you more when you get back with those costumes. So I'm guessing that the costumes, just like last time, had secret magical powers. So the back here. Okay, it looks like we go this way. But it, it it looks like we can maybe go. Oh, what was that? There's like robots and stuff here. Let's grab whatever's there and oh. It's the cute candy corn costume again. Oh, he looks so cute in that costume, though. Oh man, not the stupid candy corn costume again. But it's cute! Don't hate. Okay, so now we have to... Oh. What is that robot thing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it looks like it's something that has to do with the dentist. Because look at that tooth on there. Oh. What the? A duck? You kids shouldn't be outside with costumes on. You know the law. Uh, What law? We're from out of town. No candy, no costumes. It's ridiculous, I know. But it's Overlord White's world now. Oh, the dentist took over. That dental drone would have nabbed you if, it hadn't been here, if I hadn't been here to stop it. Thanks, but we can handle ourselves. I believe that you believe that. But I want to see for myself. Let's see how good you are with that superhero costume. So, just like... In the first game, we use our costumes to battle. Looks like she's a definite superhero. Okay, so let's see if we battle the same way. Okay, so Y is a flying fist attack. And that did... Oh man, he has a lot of uh, health, but I don't think we're supposed to actually like do battle. It's just like testing out how the battle system works on this one. Nice. Because it's a little bit easier to actually do the battles with uh, a gamepad. Whoopsies. Yeah, I hit that one too early. Let's do better than that. Alright, so let's try to get it right when we have to. That was okay. It wasn't that bad. Try harder? Okay. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. Impeccable. Do it one more time so I can be sure it wasn't a fluke. Seriously, we already did it once, didn't we? Okay. Masterful. You have to be a you have a furious attack. That is clear. But how strong is your defense? Try the same technique, but now time the point of attack uh, impact during my attack. If you're good enough, you can weaken my attacks. Ready yourself. Okay, so we press Y to do it. Oh God, I did too early. Oh, we did block it. Okay, well done. You deflected my attack once more. Okay. So it seems that this is a, a little easier because it has uh, gamepad support. So, you know, it, it, play this one. I'm not going to say don't play the first one because clearly the first one helps you know what's going on here. But uh, play this one. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do a special move or something? No, no, your special ability. I've already seen your, sp your attack skills. Okay, my special ability. So... How do I special ability it up? It doesn't really tell me what, uh, how to do with my special ability here. Or is that... What's that? What is that? Well, let's see if I can do it with my keyboard. Because I can't seem to find it here. Aha! There we go. I don't know why it wouldn't let me do it. Anyway. Why? Special justice. Whoa. That... That was filled with candy. <gasps> Okay, he deserved that because he asked for it. Yeah, you're right. So what are you going to do now, Mr. Mr. Corvus? Remember this. All technology can be punched. Okay. Well, let's go back inside. And try to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. What happened here? Oh, we have to go back now? Good. You found the costumes. Now I've got the time hole open to the past. You can enter when you're ready. 
What are we supposed to do there? You need to find a family of witches guarding a monster gate. I don't know where they are exactly. I'm sending you just before Dr. White went back. You have to find them before he does. So now we have to go time hole into the past and it saved us there. Because apparently this can be a dangerous, dangerous thing. Where are we? I don't know, but these time holes are messing with my guts, I think. He's gonna puke. Well, I guess we better start looking for those witches. So, here we are in the backwater bayou. Oh! Who are these? Who are these? Oh, they, they're time people. Oh, witches? This is crony and crony. Wait, they're both cronies. Okay. Did we find the witches? No, false alarm. These are standard human children. They do not have the talisman we seek. You're looking for the witches too, huh? Well, that's too bad for you. What would you say of this human child? If you're looking for the witches, then that means you're in our way. Ha! Huh, do you think you can deter us? We are shards of the chronoculus. Huh? We're everywhere. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's, that's, that's scary. We cannot be stopped. And they're gonna do what exactly? They're gonna fight us? They're gonna fight us, aren't they? Yep. So well, let's see if we can use our attacks here and uh, try to figure out how to use our special attack with it. Is that candy corn supposed to be fighting? Anyway, we're gonna try to see if we can uh, use our special attack with the gamepad without really having to use our keyboard. We did 24. Candy corn gets information. It's starting to make me think of it's like it's a metapod or something. So fist, flying fist attack. I don't think. Oh, uh, maybe the candy corn does like some kind of explosion attack. I don't. I've never seen it. Check out. Can't really. So we blocked four damage from that one. Let's see if we can block. Oh, block some more damage from that one. Good. And flying fist attack. I swear the candy corn must be useless because it's just doing. Oh, we got rid of one. Watch isn't. <laughs> And they're just still trying to get the candy corn. I don't. I think the candy corn might have just like really high defense or something. Oops, that was a bad hit. That was a very bad hit. Doesn't want the responsibility. Okay. Yeah, they're still trying to get the candy corn, but that defense, man, that defense. Ooh, that was a nice hit. So we only have to hit it uh, another 27 hit points, and then we have it down. Oh, it's going after me now. But we blocked that nicely. Okay, let's see. Do we, we don't even have a special attack yet. So maybe we'll be able to t like finish it off with our special attacks. It only has three HP left. The candy corn is angrier. I guess we'll be able to see if it has any attack, but I'm thinking that it doesn't because it seems just like to be a very comical thing. So let's just use our sweet justice. Mm -hmm. Pick up the bus with candy in it and throw it at the monster because that totally does all the damage in the world apparently. Victory! So we got plus 100 H uh, XP sorry, and some candy. So, oh, Ren is getting thirsty. But yeah, that, that's that's about it for today. Um, th this is how this is how you play basically both. Both of the games are pretty similar. Ooh, you get some HP from there. You get HP up there if you uh, drink that water. But yeah, this is uh, this is this is how you play Costume Quest. Both of the games are similar in terms of like how you handle the characters. You know, you get costumes, you fight, you try to get candy, trick or treating, things like that, and. That's about it. It's, they're basically game centered around Halloween. But yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. We will continue with the 13 days of Halloween tomorrow with another spoopy game or maybe a game that's spoopier. But as always, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome and evil night. <laughs>